Welcome ladies and gentlemen on my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jonathan and to my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends, welcome back. In today's video I want to talk about protecting your energy during the holiday season and continuing to raise up your vibrations. Let's get started. <music> This holiday season is going to be like no other holiday seasons because of what we've gone through this past year. And when you really look back, as far as on the surface, it might seem as though everything is crumbling. Things are just not working out. But look at the journey that you've done within. Look at more specifically, look back during the quarantine period. Okay, the two months, two and a half months that you literally stayed at home. Look at all the inner work that you started to do. Look at what was being triggered to come up in order to be purged. And not only this, look at how you've been able to discover yourself, example, over the past summertime. But certain individuals are still stuck in this 3D reality. And that's the thing is when you're going to start going to family reunions, going to be going to see friends and family for the holidays. Some individuals are still stuck in this 3D reality. Some individuals are still looking just at, example, my materialistic things that I have or how things are not going well financially. But what's important is with the energies that are coming forth starting today, the 12th of December, all the way till the end of the year, it's really to put the focus on your own vibration. Continue to put the focus on feeling better and better, raising up your vibration gaining more and more energy and you're going to notice that there's going to be a shift happening in your life you're going to be noticing whether it's going to be changing the way you see certain situations changing the way you move forward in your everyday life changing example your eating habits becoming now eating a lot healthier letting go of certain foods that bring you down that make you feel all tired and groggy and when you do go to your reunions with your family, when you do meet up with them, what's important is you're an empath. Therefore, you're able to sense out the energies in the room. And not only this, you know your family members and your friends. You know who's more upbeat than others. You know who's doing better than others at that very moment. So you might not want to rush right away into, okay, I'm going to go talk to, let's say, my cousin, who I know the past year has been very difficult for him. But... Start off with lighter energy first and then work your way if you want to go start up a conversation with them and help them out, help them start to release this. But sense out the energy of the room and go to the lightest energy. And not only this, for those of you who have children or grandchildren, nieces and nephews, anytime you're remotely or feeling drained, you sense that the energies are becoming denser. Go spend a bit of time with the children. Go play with the children a bit because they still have that childlike excitement within them. That flame is still lit within them. It's going to help raise up your own vibration. Becoming aware also of your own energy, your own vibration at all times is extremely important. Therefore, when you're taking in someone else's energy, you're able to let it go. You're able to acknowledge I wasn't feeling this a minute ago. Now I'm feeling this. That's not my own energy. I'm going to release it. And that's why healing is so incredibly powerful. As far as becoming a powerful empath, nothing will help you more than to purge everything out of your heart. Get it back up to its natural emotional state of being, which is to live out of love, joy, and happiness. And as you continue to raise your vibration, you're going to notice that other people's energies are going to affect you less and less. As far as for myself, I'm able to go in a big crowd and have no problems having all these different energies. The ones that I struggle with, because sometimes I give them too much attention, I spend too much time with them that I shouldn't, is energy vampires and needy people and narcissists. Those are the three types of people that I'll admit they still drain my energy, but it's sometimes just because it's individuals that I love so much that I know I'm rationally thinking, yeah, I should be helping them out. I should continue to help them, but I can feel it as far as my empathic abilities that I should just let them be for that very moment. I should just ignore them and protect my own energy. And that's where 
setting boundaries is, is extremely important because we do all want to see everyone. But the truth of the matter is you have to trust your intuition at all times as far as who you're meant to open up with. Who are you meant to give some of your loving energy to in order to help them pull out what needs to come out of them. And once you're able to start to do this, you're able to start to practice this, you're going to sense that your level of energy is going to be staying high a lot more frequently. You're going to notice that you're going to be able to get through your days. Whereas at the beginning of my awakening, I would literally have to take afternoon naps because I was just feeling all drained from individuals that I was giving too much of my energy to because I didn't have that boundary. During the holiday season, really pay attention to your schedule, your everyday life, how your routine, okay? And really start to pay attention as far as what are you consuming. Anytime it makes you feel down, it makes you feel tired, it makes you feel groggy, you might want to limit that. I've noticed the past two, three weeks, I've gone back on a, a health kick, eating more and more fruits and when it's, we're talking about fruits, look at the color of fruits that you like, and then I'll put up a chart as far as the chakras, and look at the color that it coordinates with. Because whatever you've been consuming as far as fruits and vegetables, look at the, pay attention to the color. That's letting you know that chakra needs to be balanced. You need to put some focus on that chakra. And not only this, it's going to make you feel a lot better. And as far as being a powerful empath, it's only when you have a lot of energy, your vibration is raised as much as possible for that moment that you're able to be the most powerful empath. And let's not forget, alone time, each and every single empath has to have that alone time. And what you do with that alone time is your own personal choice. If you want to go for a walk out in nature, go for a walk out in nature. You can meditate, you can write, you can read does not matter as long as it's something that you truly enjoy doing or you're able to melt away any stress let go of any anxiety any type of worry get yourself in the present moment get that passion start to flow and just enjoy the moment because that's what's going to recharge your battery in between all these different let's say family reunions that you're going to be going on during the holidays and as you do this you're going to notice the higher you're vibing the more precise you're able to pick out exactly what is troubling someone. It's not just going to be they're sad. No, they're a sad example because this happened at school. They're sad because this happened at work. They're sad because of something in their relationship. And the higher you're vibing, the more subsections, subcategories you're continuously going to be able to gain. Therefore, you're going to be able to gain a much deeper understanding as far as what needs to come up. And open up whenever you have a chance to sit with someone one-on-one. -on -one, you'll notice they're going to be completely different when it's one-on-one -on -one compared to when it's the whole family all just sitting there. And the easiest way to see, look at who's just laughing and it's always small talk. Whoever is always doing this, never having any conversation about anything deep, just one joke after another, small talk. That's the person in the room that's hurting the absolute most. That's the person that needs the most healing so whenever you're able to go sit down with them and ask them how they're feeling open up to about what you've experienced over the last year not as far as your physical reality what you've experienced within what major changes have occurred inside of you over the past year and they're most likely going to be able to start to relate they're going to be like yeah i during the two-month quarantine i did spend a lot of time thinking about life Thinking about what's my purpose in life? What would truly make me happy? What is it that I'm passionate about? Because it's your vibration that's going to awaken individuals, but also talking to them, getting them to become more and more curious about certain subjects or certain things that they have not thought of before. And the quickest way to raise your vibration is really watching what you consume because what you consume will consume you whether it's actually eating whether it's what it is that you're drinking what you're watching what you're listening to who you're interacting with what places are you going really start to monitor this really start to check this and really 
put the focus on what's making me feel better and then what's bringing me down and start to limit what is bringing you down. And not only this, anytime you're remotely feeling all, all, all lazy, groggy, no energy, get some exercise, go out. Even if it's just going out for a while, just get the body moving. The more the body moves, the higher you're going to be able to vibe. And as you do this, it's going to be making you feel better and better. And it's just like example, let's say if you're going for Christmas dinner with your family, don't stuff yourself fully with that turkey as an example. That's going to bring your vibrations down. Put in more vegetables in there instead or have a lighter supper at that moment to continue to feel good. And if at any point, if at any point during the family reunion, you're like, yeah, I need a break. My energy is getting depleted. Go for a 15, 20 minute walk outside. Just go for a walk outside. It's most likely going to be nighttime. Look up at the night sky and then look at that Jupiter and Saturn Greek conjunction. It's going to look like a really bright star in the Southwest. And just allow yourself to take in that energy because right now as of the 12th, you are going to be feeling these energies, but everyone's going to be feeling it completely different. And as far as your family, a lot of them are going to be beginning their dark nights of the soul. A lot of them right now, they just don't see how we could possibly end well because they're still attached to the old system. Whereas for you, you're realizing now that all that's been happening, the thing we're not allowed to talk about that's been happening over the past year has all been to allow us to look within once and for all, to let go of self-limited beliefs, to raise up our vibration, discover our passion, start moving forward in life with a sense of purpose and getting out of this autopilot mentality that the majority of individuals have been stuck in. As far as your empathic abilities, your empathic gifts, are you still seeing it as from a victim mentality? Or are you now beginning to see it as a gift? Because this will greatly affect how other individuals' energies are going to be affecting you. If you're seeing it as, oh, poor little old me, I have to protect myself because I'm taking in all these different energies. You still have a lot of inner work to do and that's okay. But coming aware of it is part is part of the journey. But whenever something does come up, give yourself permission to release it. The more, as far as during the spiritual waking process, as far as those of you who label yourself as an empath, which is not what you are, you're much more than this. It's just your empathic ability has been the first ability that you've been aware of. You're an infinite spiritual being having a temporary experience in this body. And you are going to discover that you're psychic and you have a bunch of different abilities. But at this moment, if you identify yourself as an empath, really start to see it as a gift. Really let go of that victim mentality and you're going to be noticing other people's energies are no longer going to affect you as much as they have in the past. But it's all that inner work. And that's what 2020 was all about. 2020 was about perfect vision. It was about truly seeing things for what they are beneath the surface. It was about starting to build a foundation in order to allow you to move forward in 2020. Because in, 20, in 2021, in 2021, a bunch of us light workers will be grouping up. You are going to start to attract your soul tribe. You are going to be making some incredible connections. And these connections are going to come at the most perfect divine timing. You could be you're working on a project and all of a sudden you're just feeling stuck. You have no way of moving forward. And then instead of having that mentality of I can't do this, I can't do this, I will never be able to do this. You start putting that question out to the universe. How can I do this? And then all of a sudden, guess what? A fellow light worker is going to show up and is going to help you with it or else your angels and your guides are going to be giving you the answers that you need. And right now, it is all about your vibration. It truly is. For the next while, it is still about our vibration. Continuing to raise our vibration, which is affecting each and every single person around us. Think about it as if we're all antennas all around. Right now, we're all scattered all around the world. It's all these antennas that are receiving these light codes, that are receiving this loving energy that is emitting it out to our immediate family, to our coworkers, to our friends. But in 2021, 
You're going to be grouping up with others. And that's when the real projects are going to begin as far as how you're truly able to begin to awaken other individuals. So just continue to put the focus on yourself and don't be afraid to set those boundaries. At any point in time, you're feeling drained. Say no. You're allowed to say no. Being a light worker doesn't mean that you say yes, 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 because you're not serving yourself by doing this. And I really want you to start focusing on that in 2021. How am I able to best serve myself? Because by serving yourself, you're going to be able to serve others even better. It's the highest, the higher you're vibing, the more you're going to be helping out others. If right now you're feeling low, is not the time. It's time to go within. It's time to take care of yourself. Get your vibrations back up. Eat a little healthier. Get some exercise and get some meditation and go out in nature. Start doing anything. Doesn't matter what it is. Start putting some time each every single day, 30 minutes a day into what it is that you're passionate about. Start getting it down on paper. Start taking that first step. You're get, receiving that guidance. If you don't act on it, you're never going to get the ball rolling. And it, 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 it's just an example. When I used to lift weights a lot at the gym, I would laugh when a new person would come into the gym because I'd be lifting heavy and then I'd be seeing them lifting super light where I can see that they're not even trying, not even have to put any effort in. And I was telling them, you got to start lifting heavier if you want to you build some muscle. Yeah, but I don't want to get too big too quick. You know, this person with thigh also, what, you're going to put six inches on your arm in one year? Good luck. Good luck, you know, but that's how it is as far as whatever it is that you want to move forward with. It's not going to happen overnight. And not only this, there is going to be sometimes it's going to seem either as a door is closing or there's you're just not moving forward. Don't take it as a defeat. Take it as what was I meant to learn at that moment? What kind of wisdom or knowledge am I able to gain out of this? And then all of a sudden you'll get slingshot. You'll get that quantum leap. You'll Get that manifestation to come and everything is going to start rolling. But it's a matter of starting to take action. So really over the next two, three weeks before the new year, start to think about what do you want 2021 to bring forth to you? Really start to focus on, let's say, short term, medium term by the end of the year as far as your manifestations. What is it that you need right now? Meaning, let's say January, February. What is it that you want to have accomplished or have come forth by June? And then what kind of vision are you seeing as far as what will you have accomplished by the end of 2021? Really start to think about those things because you're going to see once you get the ball rolling, it becomes easier and easier. It's just like these videos here. The first, I'm telling you this, the first 50, if not the first 100 videos, some days it would take me hours to psych myself up just to be able to point my phone at me, at me and then start to film. Whereas now it has become easier because I've done it more and more. I've learned, I've experienced, you know, I've tried different things, but it's only through trials and errors that you're going to find the right path. And as far as failures, until you give up on what it is that you're passionate about, I don't care how many doors close down on you, you have not failed one time. It's once you decide to give up on your dreams, that's when you can consider it a failure. Well, that's going to do it for the video. I love you guys. You guys have an awesome day. Namaste.